Hey, what is going on guys? Slick at Joe here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be breaking down the reveal trailer for Shaolin Shuffle, the new zombies map for Infinite Warfare DLC 2. It is a pretty interesting and cool trailer and there are a couple secrets hidden within that we can kind of pick apart and explore further to find some stuff out about the map. So if you do enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and drop a like down below. I would really appreciate it a whole lot. Let's see if we can hit 30 likes on this video. That is the usual goal and I know you guys can do it so make sure you smash that like button and let's get right into the breakdown. So starting off in this first area, it's actually really interesting. It looks kind of like an arena maybe and it kind of has a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles feel being that it's kind of underground. It looks like a sewer kind of feel and there's some water and everything and it looks really really similar to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles but it does look a little more important than just a random room. Moving on to the next shot right away here, we have a shot of what looks like to be a path up to the street there to the left based off that sign on the wall. There's also a lot of graffiti on the walls, which seems to be a common theme throughout the map. Obviously that 1970s kind of graffiti throughout New York, but there is one symbol in particular that is the claw to the left of the doorway there. That symbol appears a couple of times throughout the trailer, so I think that might be significant to something because we do see that exact symbol in different areas around the map. And I'm sure there's more areas where it appears, we just can't see them in the trailer, but I definitely think we're going to need to look out for those symbols because I think there is more to those. Now another thing I thought was somewhat interesting were those four lights on top of that doorway. I think those might mean something because later on in the trailer you get a look at one of the doors that is attached to that doorway and you can see a power symbol on it. So in order to get through that door, you might have to turn on the power, and since there's four lights, maybe you have to turn on four different power switches around the map in order to kind of open this door, and then maybe it takes you to the packet punch or some special area, kind of like there were four different uh, portals you had to travel through in Zombies in Space Land to get to the packet punch machine. But besides that, the only other thing to point out is that wall by there towards the left, on the left of that symbol there. But with that, let's keep on moving forward. So there we get a shot of the subway, and we can see Bang Bang's right at first glance quick right as soon as it appears we see that and then if we keep going we can see there is some lightning on the ground there kind of sparks up i'm not sure if that's just kind of saying that there's power being transported toward the train or if maybe that's some part of a trap or there's a little bit more to that i would say that this might confirm that we can ride the subway or we can kind of maybe use it like i said as a trap maybe we can't get on it but we can kind of let it go through the map and just get trap zombies down in that uh kind of rail tracks and then they get obviously ran over by the uh the subway Lee Ross did mention on Twitter that there is going to be a different mode of transportation and you're going to need a little bit of skill to use it. So maybe this uh, this train just kind of continuously keeps going through the map and you somehow have to like jump on it to get into it. And that's kind of where that skill aspect he was talking about comes from. After that, we move up to the street level and we get our first look at a brand new perk. You see there's that green machine in the background and it's speculated that this is going to be equivalent to dead shot daiquiri. It doesn't look like anything we've ever seen before. So that is definitely a new perk machine and the name for it is going to be dead eye dewdrops. Apparently they found that in the code so that is apparently going to be the name for it obviously it's not 100 percent confirmed but that is what it's looking like it is going to be so that is super interesting and super exciting to see a new perk good on infinity ward for that then right after this we get a super brief shot of bomb stoppers like extremely brief that you probably missed it if you don't stop it and then we have some rollerblading zombies which is kind of interesting i'm wondering if those are going to be a little faster than normal zombies, which will really kind of change the playstyle around for this uh, the zombies mode. So that'll be interesting to see if those are any harder to kill or faster than regular zombies. But then we go to this kind of overview shot of the city, which I really like this shot. It's kind of like an overview of what looks to be like a center kind of main area of the map. There's a lot of different uh, outlets in this area which you can travel. You can see the dojo there to the right. You'll see more of that later in the trailer. You can also see what looks like to be that subway stair area towards the back right. Then you see the heebie-jeebies bar there to the left, which again, you'll see more of that in the tr later on in the trailer as well and this kind of uh this shot gives me kind of a transit vibe i'm not exactly sure why maybe it's like the fire with the bus in the middle and this just kind of city feel but it gives me a little bit of a transit vibe i'll put a picture up on screen of the area of transit i'm talking about but not sure if that is really good or bad but anyway it does look pretty cool and let's keep on moving through the trailer so next here we have a huge focus on melee attacks they definitely look to be more powerful than regular melee attacks so we have some very crazy kung fu moves and then right in the middle of that we get a quick scene of our characters in the subway two of them 
and they're fighting, but if you notice, they literally have no weapons at all. They're literally just using their hands. So I don't know if this whole Kung Fu mode is going to be a legit weapon. We put all of our weapons away and you're in like Kung Fu mode. Maybe it's like a specialist ability or something like that where you, you know, hit both your bumpers together and then you're into this Kung Fu mode. You put all your weapons away and you can do these Kung Fu moves that are more powerful, obviously, than regular melee. And that is kind of like its own separate thing. That'd be pretty cool. I would be down with that. I think that'd be a great way to implement it into the game. Another interesting thing to point out in this uh, little subway train fight scene is towards the top right there, you can see this graffiti on the wall, and it says, The Bereaved of the Enslaved. And I'm not exactly sure what that means. The only reason I'm pointing that out, and I thought it was interesting, because later on in the trailer, you're going to see what looks like to be some enslaved zombies. So I don't know if maybe that had something to do with that, and that might be part of an Easter egg later on, or just a cool kind of graffiti quote on the wall. Not exactly sure, but just thought I would mention it. Next, we have some more Kung Fu punching, and then we got some crazy Avatar-like shit. Now, this next scene is what I was talking about with those enslaved zombies. It looks like we have a bunch of crazy zombies that are doing Kung Fu moves. They've got Kung Fu outfits on, and they've got these really weird giant rat skulls on their heads. And if you look there to the back right, it is possible that they are being controlled by Master Splinter's evil twin. He's kind of like fucking grimacing in the background there, hovering around on his cloud of darkness. And it looks like he might be controlling those zombies. He has the same giant rat skull on his head as well. So that is very interesting, and we will see more of him later. Now we're heading into the Black Cat Dojo, which appears to be run by Pam Greer's character. She is the celebrity character for this map. This looks like to be where we find her. She looks to be, I guess, the leader of this dojo. And in the trailer, you can hear her say, Shall we begin? And then the next scene, we got this weird shot of Andre doing some crazy, like, kung fu training or something. I don't know, worshiping the freaking moon or doing a weird freaking striking snake pose. Who knows what the hell he's doing, but it looks like he's kind of, like, training. That looks like a training pose. And then right away in the next scene, we got each one of our characters doing a different kung fu style. They have, like, these colorful symbols that they're kind of making appear out of the air. We've got a dragon, a snake, a crane, and a tiger symbol. So there is a possibility you have to go to the dojo and you have to talk to Pam Greer and maybe she has some challenges or something for you to do around the map. Now also during this scene you will notice in the subway here where they're doing the crane style kung fu moves, you can see over there towards the right you see Up and Adams, which would make sense being in the subway. That That is probably going to be the spawn room and Up and Adams is right there, so that all kind of ties in nicely. And then during the red tiger kung fu style to the left on the wall there is a lightning bolt, which usually indicates power is nearby. Then we get a quick shot of a throwing star. Next we get a shot of Pam Greer with a katana, slice and dice and some zombies. And this footage looks to be kind of like gameplay looking, so this probably means that she is definitely a playable character like usual. Beat the main easter egg, you get to do the code and you play as her, I'm guessing they're going to do that again. And maybe, possibly, you can have her fight with you, like you got David Hasselhoff to fight with you in Zombies in Spaceland. Maybe we can, this time, get her to fight with us like that. Now we got a quick shot of a new trap. It looks like some sort of electric bridge or something. Pretty simple there. And now we get a really close-up look at this crazy rat man again. And it appears that this is the new boss zombie. Considering he gets his own little part of the trailer, like the boss zombie usually does for each map. Even though for some reason, he feels like he is a little more important to the map than just like the brute was. The brute just was kind of there, it was the boss zombie, and that was the end of it. I feel like he might be a little more important like the slasher was, kind of more integrated into the story. And maybe we'll have to face him in the end, or he kind of ties into the main part of this uh, kung fu movie or that we've gotten uh, trapped into so I think that'll be interesting But I definitely think he looks a little bit more important like I said He's spawning a bunch of rats though and underneath of his skull you can get a quick look at him here He's just wearing a skull mask and he looks like a regular human He has no glowing eyes like zombies usually do it's just regular eye human eyes and you can see its skin He's definitely a human and he just has one of these rat masks on so I'm interested to see how that plays into it, and that's why I also kind of feel like he's more important than just, you know, a regular monster, zombie, brute, or whatever. Because the slasher was super important to the story, and he was just a regular human as well. Or I guess he was a regular human until he went all batshit crazy. Now we get a shot here of a new trap. It looks like a sweeper or something going across the dance floor. We got some katanas, and our character is running full steam ahead, stabbing some zombies. And what's interesting about this scene here is these zombies are bursting into clouds of smoke. And I think that is super interesting. You can't really get a shot at these zombies at all. You can't see what they look like. But I will point out that in the other maps, when you kill the special round zombie, which would be the Bigfoot or the clowns, they burst into fire or smoke and they kind of disintegrate like these zombies are doing. So this could either be an effect of the katana itself. Maybe the stab move just disintegrates zombies. Or these could be those rat zombies with those rat skulls on their heads, and maybe those are the special round zombies that give you the max ammo at the end, all that good stuff. Maybe that's what the special round is going to be, these rat zombies, and that would be why they're 
puffing into smoke when they're getting stabbed. Now we get a cool first person shot of a katana and he slashes a bunch of zombies and it looks like it hits a ton of them, not just one at a time. It looks like it hits at least five or six. Now we got some classic zombies dancing in the club. We got to have that in IW. Then we got tough enough in the back of the alley and then some crazy bastard doing some sort of Power Rangers air cutting technique. <laughs> always super effective. She just shoots him because she doesn't give a shit. And then we have the same guy slamming his fists on the ground and creating a giant explosion, which might have been powered up by the Power Rangers air cutting moves he was doing just before this scene. And there we go. That is the end of the trailer. DLC 2 releases on April 18th. As you can see, Shaolin Shuffle pretty good trailer i think overall my initial reaction was wow this looks pretty crazy and kind of silly and goofy but it actually looks pretty cool i'm kind of excited for this stuff they have some cool new features and i like how iw is just kind of throwing these random things in there i thought the trailer was pretty good overall in terms of what it brought it showed us not a lot but enough to kind of get me excited and to pique my interest a little bit i think this will hopefully make an enjoyable experience that will last for a while and people won't get sick of it right away i hope this map lasts a little longer than raven the redwoods because raven the redwoods is a pretty good map but it did not last long because we beat the easter egg in like six hours so hopefully this one lasts a little longer and people kind of stick with it for a while because i think it has the potential to be super fun if people will play it and enjoy watching it playing it all that good stuff a couple other things I noticed after watching it back a couple of times and picking out the kind of important details is first off, we barely saw any guns in this trailer. Literally, we barely saw any at all. Like for a few brief seconds, we saw a couple, but for the most part, it was all just melee weapons and some Kung Fu Avatar The Last Airbender shit. So it will definitely be interesting to see how big of a part the Kung Fu aspect plays in the map or if it's just kind of for show in the trailer and you really don't use it that much, I'm kind of leading to the direction where you probably don't need to use it at all if you don't want. It might have something to do with the Easter egg, I'm sure. They're kind of probably going to integrate it into that. But for the most part, it's probably going to be some sort of ability that if you just want to play zombies, kill zombies, and that's it, you don't want anything to do with this crazy-ass kung fu shit. There's obviously still going to be weapons in the map. We've seen the magic wheel a few times throughout the trailer. And we've seen people using guns. There's wall buys. We know there's going to be guns, so it's not like there's going to be katanas kung fu moves ninja stars and that's it you're only limited to that there will be the regular guns obviously so if you don't want to use that i don't think it's going to be a big deal now another thing i did notice or rather didn't really notice was willard weiler i didn't hear or see a mention of him once in this trailer i almost even forgot he was a part of the game for a second so i'm really interested to see how they bring him into this map and his involvement considering the story is supposed to be kind of taking off somewhat in DLC 2 and kind of ramping it up. Lee Ross did say a couple times they're going to be incorporating more story elements into this map, so I'm interested to see where he comes into this, because like I said, we did not see or hear a word out of him, so it's going to be really interesting to see how that fits into all of this. Now, the next thing might not actually be anything, but I did notice there was a few scenes where we would see all of our characters but one. We'd have a group of three, but I've never seen a group of all four of our characters at the same time in the trailer. So not sure if that is significant or not. I just thought it was a little odd, but I guess we'll have to wait and see once the map is released. But yeah, guys, that is my breakdown of the trailer. If there's anything else that I left out that you noticed or thought was interesting, be sure to tell me down in the comments below. I would be interested to see if you guys caught anything I didn't. Also leave a comment Tell me what you thought of the trailer. If you're excited for Shaolin Shuffle or if you're not, tell me that too, but make sure you guys give me an answer to why you're not excited. I want to know what about the map you don't like. What about Infinite Warfare zombies maybe you don't like? Don't just give me the classic, this isn't zombies, because this is zombies. It's not the traditional Treyarch zombies, obviously. But Infinity Ward is putting kind of their own spin on zombies, which seems to be more of a silly and lighthearted approach with these like kind of crazy goofy features that really don't make any sense for the story or anything like that. They're just kind of in there with this, you know, the Kung Fu and all that crazy stuff. But I'm glad they're taking their own path and trying to make this mode its own separate entity, separate from Treyarch, just doing their own thing. I know some of this stuff can be a tad ridiculous. I agree. I know it gets a little crazy at times. But like I said, I think that's just the path that Infinity Ward wants to take. They're making it their own, and I'm okay with that. I'm still super excited for DLC 2, and I will be playing it a lot when it releases and hopefully having a ton of fun with it. Plenty more Shaolin Shuffle content is coming with coverage up until launch and also with tons of videos, guides, streams, all of that good stuff when it finally gets released in about two weeks on April 18th on PS4. So make sure you subscribe for that and fucking ring my bell too while you're at it. That way you don't miss anything, no videos or streams, you'll always be notified when I upload. That will also give you a shot to participate in the most intense, brutal, and exciting battle of all of the ages, from all ages and of all ages of all ages. The battle to comment first. <laughs>
Are you serious? Yeah, I don't really get it either, but hey, people like doing it, so you better like doing it too. But that is going to do it for today's video. I have rambled on long enough. If you are still here, you are a legend, my friend. I really do appreciate it, and I freaking love you. Be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy, though. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I better be seeing you in the next video. Catch you later. Yeah, I'm all in.